Now, hello everyone, Matt from soundrolling.com and I am here with Mauricio Castaneda from Chile, uh, who is a Foley artist, Foley editor, Foley supervisor and all-round Foley guy, which is awesome. So, hello, can you hear me? I can hear you, okay. Awesome. And so, uh, yeah, a bit of kind of housekeeping, I guess, for everyone watching the moment uh, there should be a comments box somewhere around this uh, where you can ask comments uh, about Foley as we go along and I'll kind of feed those in as they're uh, as they're kind of applicable just so we uh, stay stay on a straight track instead of just darting all over the place with Q&A's and what else what else there's uh, a minute delay so if you do ask a question I'll wait a minute at least and then I'll uh, I'll have tried to get round it by then. Um, this is all just so we can watch the video uh, and not have any jumping around or anything like that. Um, so let's get into it with the first thing. Uh, I guess we should start with um, being a Foley artist. How did you get into being a Foley artist? Um, okay, I was first of all you started you you. It's all about music. I was I was thinking last night about that particular question. It all started with with the with the with the music. You know? First of all, you when you are young, you start to listen music, but one moment to other, you start to like it like more. I don't know how to explain that because you 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 also start to thinking about the solo, about how that particular snare drum sound, and that's when you start to say. Hmm, I'm really getting, it's not like I like music, you know, it's like a, I really like it. So you start with music and uh, after after that, you're saying, you, you, okay, will be a, will I be a musician? Uh, and that's when you start to know about sound. And uh, okay, there, you, could, you could be a musician, but okay, I will, I will continue doing some sound. I also, I'm a, I'm a drummer, so um, that's when you, you, it's all about start with music. After that, you can, you, I decided to start to study sound. Uh, here in Chile, it's like a, a, a engineering a career, like you are doing like five years to become a sound engineer, as we call here. And uh, we have really good good schools. So, and um, uh, so that's when you start to to study sound. After that, when you're studying sound, all, all everyone like wants to to be as uh, like a music recorder, working in a studio, work or, or maybe some doing a live sound, working with bands and things like that. And uh, but when I, I remember, I was like in the third year of my stu the, the studying, and uh, that's when I met this thing called post production. And it was like a first love, first, how do you say it? Like first yeah, yeah. Love, love? Was, love at first sight, yeah. Love at first sight. And uh, it was, okay, I want to do this till the, till the day I die. So I started really young doing my, uh, doing as a, uh, I don't know how do you say, when you, you have to like kind of work after when you finish your studies. Yeah, it's like it, after graduating, it's just. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I said I could be like an assistant in a Foley studio, and uh, okay, you know, first of all, you start to preparing coffee, doing the best sandwiches, be doing everything is in the right position, doing some some um, to to make things in order in a Foley studio, which is crazy, and that's when you start to you know knowing te techniques, and then. From one moment to other, there's no one to help with some uh, quick scene, and then you start to get into it. And you, when you you try to grab things about it, and this thing about doing sounds, it's uh, it's crazy because when I try to explain to my students about when you're when you're doing foley, it's like uh, you're creating sounds. It's great. It's great because okay, you have many plugins. Now, the, the, for be a, a sound a post production person, you have to be seated in your in your studio, 
working with products and things like that, which is I really like it. Uh, most of the the people who works in sound engineering will understand that it's cool to work in in products, editing, and, you know, dialects and things like that. But the folly part is like to create sounds. It's like a, a handcraft thing. Uh, like, like when you're painting, you, when you're, uh, I always say like, like you're pain, painting, like a, a paint. And uh, and uh, it's crazy because you start doing the moves and the, 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 the steps and then the specific ones. And uh, after that, you have a look on the scene and say, oh man, I, this, it was my creation. I did like, a, like the, I, I made the, the, the I made the character. I made. I made, I made it all, and you're helping with a particular label in in, in the you know, this all post production thing that no one knows. It's crazy because it will, uh, the, the, the contradiction about folly is like you're if you're doing a good job, no one will have. No one will say, "Oh, that's a cool folly," because the, if they say that it's a good folly, it's a bad folly because. <laughs> You, you didn't mix it really well with, 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 with what was happening on the on the scene, so it's kind of crazy. And um, but but for com completing your your question, it was like a I was when I was 21, 21, yeah. Uh, it was a first love sight to to this thing. After that, I, I'm I'm now thirty five. I've been doing more like a hundred and twenty projects. For everywhere, and uh, and uh, when when sometimes when you're not doing folly, you really start to miss it. You know? I, I wanted to do some folly, and now now I'm waiting a a project for Brazil when the the this a documentary film about the, the it will be my next project about the um, uh, guy a uh, uh, trainer of the U, the UFC to 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 a camera that follows him you know with the with their boy to to how they go to the the championship and things like that and I, and it will be a fight project so i was i was thinking on my mind you know that i was that i will have to um uh, create some punches create some kicks and i, well, I would do it and it's a thing about wrestling sometimes so it will be lots of skin and that's my next project so so I'm not living for the all the projects I did, you know. I, you know, I'm living for the next project. So it's it's like a thing when when you when you're doing a th uh, when you're working in a thing that you love, like uh, okay, I'm good, and 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 and, and you realize that you're good doing that, and people, and most of it, people realize, oh yeah, you're good doing for it. It's, it's every, everything comes together, and it's about it's all about passion, you know. How, how passionate are, are you in your work? Definitely. Definitely. I mean, no, I'm, no, I'm, no. I'm, I'm answering all the questions in, in just one. So no, 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 no. It's, it's brilliant. There's so many things to kind of pick up on. It's it's really interesting as well. Just kind of when you're, I guess, do, when you're doing a longer project and there's like the the principal characters, you must feel after a while like you are them because you yeah. are walking like them, you are moving like them. Um, it's, it's, it must be really interesting, and I, I totally agree in terms of the passion. Just because. Again, like me being a, like a location sound recorder, just recording dialogue and just recording new dialogue is always, it's always the next challenge and always the next kind of thing to pursue, which is really cool. And in and terms of... Excuse me, because we're, we're, we, we really love to, to do some, some sound, you know, but, but okay, inside of sound or post-production, there are many pe different people because, okay, I, I, I already have to edit some dialogues, but... I was having, you know, a little discussion with with discussion with my my partner that who works doing uh, re-recording mixing, and they, and I, I told him that to hear all day saying hello, 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 and uh, playing with the plugins and everything, I don't like it. But he said, "Hey, man, you are doing the steps. Who who wants to?" work <laughs> steps all day step one step two and step three and to make all the characters all the film uh, fill it with with steps and then <laughs> it was like a some argument about that well, okay <laughs> it's true there's definitely different <laughs> different things to it i guess in terms of what's work and what's fun and what's passion it's 
yeah. it's interesting. But could you? I mean, a common thing that I always get get asked um, when when people ask me a bit about uh, foley is just kind of the, I guess, the dividing line between what's foley and what's sound effects. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a. Uh, I, I'm when 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 I told my my students what the, the difference is that they are like, like relatives. Foley and sound effects are like cousins, for saying in in some way. But to work with Foley, you only focus on all the actions that the actors made. Right. Sometimes you can you can create some sound effects. But to make sound the the the, speci the word sound effects, it's more relation rela related with um, with sounds that like uh, like engines, like sh like shoot shooting, like like uh, yeah yeah shooting a gun yeah yeah and uh, and uh, like those kind of sounds sounds like you can you can. Uh, uh, search in a, in a library. Okay, you can search for in a library for footsteps and things about about funny, but it won't be like realistic at at all. But okay, from, from now you can. They are really good, a good ones. You know, sound libraries and everything that works with funny, even with the, the with the moves. But thanks God, uh, they 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 are not like uh, they are not like you. You don't feel like. Uh, you don't feel it. It's like all oh, it's it's crazy because it's like a thing about feel. To answer your question, Foley is the particularly all the sound makes from the for the actors. If you're a good Foley artist, you you will you will as uh, the the character in the movie, and you will sound like he, sound like him. Right. Crazy. Say like that. You will sound like him, and. If you do that, that, that you can make the, the same scene with sound effects, okay, adding step to step from a sound library, but it won't be the same, it won't be the same feeling. So it, it, it's kind of crazy. You will see the, 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 the two, two scenes, doing one with Foley, one with sound effects, but it won't be the same. And you will feel like some kind of you, you're eating a, a hamburger in the McDonald's or you're eating a hamburger, you know, in a, a place in a place like say, I don't know, like a hamburger good restaurant <laughs> five star five yeah, star. That, that, yeah. okay that, that, that's a good uh, definition about the difference about for and sound effects but uh, sound effects most dedicated most dedicated even that uh, I said that we were it was cousins it's more dedicated to all the sounds that you can you can easy to find in a library like as, as i said like uh, engines like swoosh like whoosh, whoosh, all right. that kind of sounds and um and uh foley is really the movements and all the actions about the actors who who do who who helps you know to to uh, adrs and things like that and and and, and to 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 mix it really well so I, I guess I suppose it's like um, if an actor goes over to like a microwave to take something out, then you could get the sound of the microwave as a sound effect because it's just the sound of like the engine motoring. But then having them actually open it and take out the plates all in kind of one action is then the foley. Is that a... sorry? Say it again. So I mean, I'm, I'm here. I'm not alone. I'm with Patricia. She's my sound rec my foley recorder. Say oh, hi. fantastic! Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, she's next to me and and, uh, and um uh, okay sorry well, she just concentrates so can <laughs> That's all right. i was just saying so i guess um like a a scenario where you can see the difference between foley and sound effects is like when an actor goes over to a microwave to take something out and then the actor taking out the thing from a microwave is foley but the actual sound of it like rotating could be a sound effect because it's just a generic. In generic the in the uh, uh, well, uh, oh, oh, another scene like a famous one is when the like uh, this uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger in Terminator Two, he's oh, when yeah. the he's in in the motor the motorcycle and it's like uh, ramming his gun. That particular scene, and 
the engine of the Harley Davidson is sound effects, the there are mu music there, there are dialogue like hasta la vista baby, <laughs> yeah. and uh, all the mo the movement you know the leather when oh, the jacket and the par particularly movement of the gun that's folly. Right. That's a, if that, that's a good example. Awesome, yeah, brilliant. And so, uh, could you just talk through kind of your team uh, of when you're when you're recording a Foley session? When when and uh, when I went to you to you know huge studios in in Europe, I realized that there are many people involved in in, in the Foley in the Foley business, like a Foley recordist, Foley artist, Foley assistant, Foley mixer, and Foley supervisor. From now on, the the the, that was on the early 2000, no? And, um, and now, uh, now the thing I get a little bit simplified uh, to one fully record this, which is the one who helps you because you can do it. You you can as a fully artist you you perform the sounds, you know, like the steps. You have the technique to do it and. Well, maybe I think we will, will talk about that the techniques because it's different to grab a, a, gla a glass, you know, and uh, like here. If you're doing like not regular, normal, like a regular guy, you just grab it. But like doing in a foley view, it's like doing with this. I don't know how you call it. This part of the hand. Uh, yeah, just the I don't know <laughs> the fingers. And, 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 and you can listen, you know, because if you're grabbing a, a glass. Uh, Cup, you know, it doesn't sound. But if you're doing like in foley, in a foley uh, view, it's like here. Can you hear it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that sound, when you're watching the the film, you're saying, okay, you're a regular specter, you know, you're watching the movie and you say, and you hear this, or your brain hear that, and you continue watching the movie. But if it doesn't sound you something in your mind will say, mm, something happened. Maybe you don't realize that it's the folly thing. That's kind of it's the crazy thing about folly. So sometimes it, like there's sound we are used to these particularly movie sounds because in real life doesn't sound when you grab something, you know. But if you're watching the movie, it had to sound to your brain say, okay, that guy grabbed a glass and then you continue watching the movie. So it's one of the contradictions of 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 of, of this of this thing. Okay, I can do that. Okay. All start with the folly artists who have the technique, you know, the the, the view to to how to develop all the sounds to 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 work with the clothes. And sometimes I was doing a, a, a big film here in Latin America. Don, where the, the, there was a, a, a guy who was in inside a party. He was, a, in a, he was, he was in, inside a, a party, you know, many noises, but the, direct, the director wanted to, we all the time get focused on the, on the, on the, on the main actor and all the movements that he, he made, even that we were in a party. That's, and the, he was working and 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 the, as a foley artist, I said, okay, this guy is wearing a leather jacket. So I I, I recorded all the track of leather the leather jacket, all the movements, and uh, and uh, with the, of course with the help of the the recording mixer, we made that accent. And uh, okay, this guy is in a party, and people are dancing around, but. Because of that particular sound, your 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 focus on the movements of the of the main actor. So uh, you you have you you have that idea and uh, and uh, the for the the director wanted that and we we make a, a good work. Okay, you're doing that that as a folly artist. You need the help of the folly recordist because the folly recordist is who the one who is listened all that sound because you're sometimes you say okay I'm doing the coolest sound ever. But the folly record is saying no, that's rubbish. You know, there's a bad sound. <laughs> We're doing making too low frequencies. You know, let's put it a little bit higher. So it it has it has, it has to be the complement. 
from that starts a, a folly team and you have to be you have to be you know really really in in, in to work as a team you know because they said there's it's a, sometimes it's a stressful stressful work because sometimes you're, you're like a, with, with with all the times you know you have to work fast and uh, but you're creating sound so you you have to take your time to have a, a different perspective about your what are you doing and that complement it, it helps you with the four lead recordist after that okay this is the, the main sometimes you have assistant uh, a student who helps you know as assistant who is helping you with things and and uh, after that is the the foley editor because okay you can be the most sync person ever but with you have to in this international project you have to it has to be the same the step in the same the or the sound in the same frame you know in the, in the particular frame when the the sound it has to be i will make a, a example for that i was doing last year uh, uh working in a hbo series and uh like we were doing like thir 13 episodes for an hbo latin america series and we sent our foley to them and they received our foley in miami and they sent this to four different studios who was what who they work was to watch the, the the episode frame to frame like a like a, a international uh i don't know uh, i don't know how to say like to 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 four different studios to to yeah. to all the the sounds was in the particular frame you know like a like quality control studios that, that that's what, what i was searching the quality uh, the uh, so all the all the the sounds for me as a foley artist all the step had to, had to be in the same particular frame you know so we, we was working we were work frame to frame and uh, and that helps uh, that is really e easier when you're working with a foley editor edits that also there's a person which is the foley mixer which which helps you you know because you have to work with the, the dynamics okay and uh, and then um, that's a, that's a cool work too because your your the foley mixer is really next to the foley sorry foley mixer is really next to the re-recording mixer because you have you're sending him like 20 tracks of foley but our goal is to give him one master fully master to when when he's mixing the scene he had okay dialogues music ambience and effects and foley and it's more foley or less foley and we're doing do, during that particular master track uh, all the steps all the 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 the, the, the clothes the moves and the specific doing like a, a like a pre pre-mixed of course, he if, if he wants to you know enhance some some steps or enhance some particular sound, he will have it in 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 the in the in the set in the foley session or maybe in the mix in the mix session. But we try to work through the foley mixer to help him with that. Okay, there's a foley foley mixer and that's it. Sometimes on the, there's a, a figure of the foley supervisor which is you know set. Uh, having a look on all these different like little uh, departments for, for calling one, one way but as, as i've seen you know during these particular years uh, like there's two or three people doing the the those jobs so it's not a, a huge a huge studio doing falling it's like a two two or three people who who, who helps you with that for for me is having because i have a, a, a like a fully language it hasn't been too it hasn't been too easy to find someone who who has the same view as me through all the years i had some uh, fully record fully recorded partners and uh, people who helped me but it hasn't been easy to find you know you when a person you can trust all your folly so it's, it's like a, it's like like kind of crazy but to answer your question, it's like uh, two or three people doing, doing you know, um, in in these jobs. 
And so do you, do you think that it's really useful for people that are, um, are, are trying to be Foley artists at the moment, if they also try to do editing and try to do mixing and try to get a whole general view? Do you think if you understand the mixing, it'll improve your kind of Foley artistry and vice versa? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, during the, in this business, even if you're doing lots of films, sometimes you have to do you have to uh, do some. Uh, you cannot live in, be the, as a foley artist. You know, you have to. You need to have some tech produce techniques, and that will will help you with editing, and and uh, because there are different kind of projects. You know, and in this business, you will make huge films and and share with with low budget ones, and uh, you have to. As my, because I really like it, I, I, I want to make them all. So, as a, because of maybe of the budgets or, or whatever, you sometimes you have to be in the proto session, doing some editing, doing some mixing, and uh, and um, to be uh, for me as a good advice, you have to be a complete. A sound person more than a foley artist. You cannot be in the in the in your studio doing foley and send it foley. No, you have to be or try to be focusing all the all the process and uh, and uh, with a few ideas about pro tools, pro tools and and a few and a, and a, and a, with a concept of of this business about to work with sounds. You have to you you. you it's a good advice to be be involved in all the process. I think. And with um, so let's let's talk more about kind of the the process of of tackling kind of a, a film in terms of foley. Are you is the first thing steps and then cloth and then is there like a specific order that you personally run through? It's it's a, it depends on the day. <laughs> it's kind of crazy because it as I said in the beginning, it's all about passion and feelings. It's kind of crazy, you know, because we, when 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 you're watching the film, okay, first of all you watch the movie, you try to get what when or where you will do in your oh this is this will be a funny moment, you know, you're when you're you're because the, you're also dealing with music, uh, you're dealing with with some really intimate scenes and things like that so you're saying you when you're watching the movie for the first time you're saying okay I, I will be focused on this part on this on this on this so and um, most of it most of the time we start doing the the, the moves because uh, it's a uh, like it will help you to understand more the, the, the how the, the characters movement are you know because because the the moves you will see how the the the, the movement of the shoulders the moves are how do they walk and it will help you to after that doing the steps right. it, it, it it could change I, sometimes i start doing the steps and after that the movement movement to make the movement movements first to understand the character so like uh, and so, most of it because of the, the 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 times you know it's really quick you you okay you have to be seated you know doing okay doing your art but you have to be thinking that you this project has it has to be in a few days more on this recorded mixing uh, se session so you have to be quick and uh, and then to get to win some time it, it helps you to start doing the, the movement after that you work with the steps and uh, that's the that's a, that's a, the hard thing about doing foley because the 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 steps are really important. You know, there's a, 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 a step up, a could help you. Uh, Re-recorded mixers really appreciate appreciate that. So the steps are, are, are completed. Even that sounds okay. Steps, no, this is not that easy. You have to crazy. It's like a, you have to like a feel like a step i'm a shoe i'm a person who is walking and i'm that guy and i have to do it right if you don't feel that it won't be a good step track and you will have to you will hear it after all and you see that 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 moment it wasn't that good, so i will make it again but we really 
Foley art is, is and this is the fun part fun part for some people have to you have to put your heels and do the women's steps and it's crazy <laughs> because you're, you're doing you in the street having a look on on a, on a woman walking in your head you know, those heels sounds really good and who why were you doing this? why what are you saying that and then you have to be like a focus on the, on the heels is like it's got a completely different technique you know have to push that hard you know the step you have to sound feminine and and and, and many other uh, like folly techniques and um and uh after that okay you work with the, the movements with the steps and after that you're the specific ones so as i said in the example of the cup you know it's not uh it's not uh you have to the sound it had to sound but uh, as I said, you, know, it's, it, uh, you to make a good movie sound it had to sound with this part of the hand, and uh, and uh, it's not a okay. Let me make an example here, live example. Oh, this <laughs> table. So if you're watching the cup here, no, uh, here. Okay. Excuse me, it will be. A Okay, when you're leaving a cup, you it sounds like this. No, regular. But to yeah. make a foley one, and when you're what, as a, the same example, you know, you ha it's a, it had to sound like this in a slow motion. You no, know? right. so real life, but in film life, okay, and and. But no, no, not that slow one. You have to like to track, you know, that kind right, of sound. Right. You know, make it like a really fully one. You, I, I do, you know, like putting this little thing and it's okay. So in a slow motion, it would be like that. Okay, like a triple, like a triplet in drums. Like, yeah. Track, track. Yeah, so it would be like a, like a, a that particular Amazing. sound, the, the 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 specific the, the specific of, of leaving a, a cup, it had to be a triplet sound like to track to track, okay. And you record, you record it right, and then after in the fully mix it, you put it a little bit down, you know, so you can feel it, but you cannot hear it. <laughs> amazing yeah no that's an amazing example <laughs> and it, it's really interesting just in terms of uh footsteps because i i've noticed in some scenes that i see there's uh different paces of of walking in in between in between cuts is there is there any kind of technique to kind of i, I guess bridge the difference between different speeds of like footsteps Bye. So that when you're doing folly, you realize. Oh, you're breaking up a little bit. Uh, yeah. And let's see what I can do. Just a second. Maybe I can. Maybe that'll help. I just made my video a little lower quality. I think because you you started um, sketching out there. Sorry. Let's start again. Sorry. So when you're when you're um, doing like a, we were what talking about the, uh, ah, the different just when there's yeah. like two and, uh, two shots back to back to, but they have different steps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the the like regular walking it, it happened on the same time. So uh, a technique to do that is like uh, to follow the first cut rhythm. You know, can you you hear yeah. that? Yeah. The, yeah. The, 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 so you have to and and try to arrange that to the next cut, you know, to the next uh, the next the next cut. Yeah. And uh, and and uh, it, it depends on it depends on more more and then and, and the next cut another rhythm. You know, right? I think I'm getting it. It's unfortunately, internet is going a bit strange. I think. 
Mm-hmm. So you're kind of you're breaking up a little bit. Maybe if I just turn off my video, but I can still talk to you, that might help. Okay. Uh, but uh, the. Okay. Yeah. Try now. Let's see. And the the things that uh, uh, you have to help the scene. You know. You know. You know. Have to. Okay. Doing first of all. Doing. Hello. 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 Okay. Okay. I think it's it's getting better now. <laughs> I'm trying to close down loads of stuff because it's sounding like bang, boom, boom, occasionally. Yeah. Okay. So, so sorry. Just to recap, you're doing um, you do the rhythm of the first one, and then you do yeah. the rhythm of the second one, and then yeah, that's and like, you're, trying, and... you're trying to match it to the next one, but you have to be you have to help the scene to to sound like a, a regular walk. So um, it's not that easy because okay, sometimes you in the in a particular cut you you do some step to help the next to fit to the next cut, yeah. Yeah. And most of it it, it can help you to if you, the 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 shot is in the shoulders of the actors, you focus on that and you try to match those two cuts. I don't know if I explained it that right. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. No, I think I think that makes that, sense. That's my, part, my particular technique. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's really good. And it going on, I guess, towards uh, mic placement for kind of sound effects. Are you how how much uh, are you are you like giving things space when they're interior and it's kind of a wider shot? Are you kind of recording with um, like the reverb of the room, or are you micing everything really close? To get a really kind of a really close up sound. Okay, um, but you like like an intimate scene. Yeah, I mean, just just. Um, I don't, to, don't think... with, with, to, to your question was like to don't to don't do all the sounds to you know fill it with too much things and how do you to discriminate things sounds like? Um, no, in terms of like where you actually have the microphone to record. Let's say um, uh, footsteps and clothes. Um, and are you are you having the microphone really close to what you're recording, or uh, do you do you give it room, or how does that how does that work? That's uh, there are two. First of all, we have to talk to them like a, like a teacher, and there are two different schools about that. First of all, the the American the the, the French folly school, and uh, the American Euro, rest of Europe school for saying in, in some way, and then um, the, the this uh, the French school of folly, they work with the with the with all the rooms. So if you if you are in the street, they put you like three or four microphones to doing this this uh, like uh, street reverb. You know these huge things of you these huge uh, streets in in in, in Europe. And uh, and uh, and uh, and things like that. And the, okay, now got you on, on the video. And then um, and, uh, there's another school which which who said that that's the thing I, I learned in when I was in, uh, in London working with, with with some friends there. And that okay, the guys said okay, why do I need to put four microphones in one in one particularly. Uh, um, in what particular take a uh, folly t- steps take if the re- i can just put one microphone you know in a little in a one one feet of distance or two feet or what it, and uh the folly rec- the the folly, the re-recorders will put the they he had the super reverb in plugins in protos so this uh i would say what, what was my when i get what well, example of what what happened to me when I when when okay when I was doing like trying to develop my folly sound, I was with the okay. I will I will try to 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 do this French view of doing folly, and I record. I remember a, a Argentinian movie, 
we were doing like a scene than an actor in a in a you know a huge hall like a theater it was coming to us you know approaching to the camera really far he was walking up through stairs like black 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 approaching to to say okay this when i was i felt like a french uh like a, i felt french you know for saying some way <laughs> and we make a, 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 a huge sound and it sounded it sounded really cool and uh, this guy was coming through camera and i was uh, the the real recording where you know moving the faders to make all the ambience and and we make oh, okay after that we say oh what a cool uh steps take we did after that the real after uh, when after the day after the really the, the re-recorded mixer came back and said hey there was a really <laughs> really a cool uh, step stake by but i would love to you have uh, i would love to if you do it again with less river and i said okay we blew it we have to make everything <laughs> again <laughs> and we try it with, with with one particular mic you know like uh, and like one or two feet far from the from the from the the floor and uh and uh, we, and, uh we did it like uh without that that kind of river and the the really could mix it added so it's, it's a it's a fight between the these two these two um schools school mm -hmm. and uh um, um from now on i'm le letting you know after that particular situation i'm letting to to record the mixer all the big rivers we try to to to, to help with that but not that not that big you know so right, it's, right. It's, it, it, that's my 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 way to 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 have a view and also because uh sometimes you're working in different studios there there for uh, good budget studios you are working in big ones big one rooms to help you to to develop a better sound but sometimes you're working with two in in, in a studio a fully studio too dry so um it's not it's not that easy to to you have to be more like take care of of your sound working with the with the room the fully room so so if you are asking me from this very moment, I try to make a, a better, a good sound than a room sound. Right, right, right. And and, and but that, that but does that, that still does involve, still involve um, what I've heard called the the room mic? Do you still record something that's purposely off? So you have one microphone facing towards the clothes, doing the cloth, and one facing away. So yeah, you yeah. Can temp so, yeah. reverb. Yeah, yeah, we're doing that, but but in, in particularly takes and when when the the you can help that with the scene, as I said, you, we 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 in in a, in the full studios I saw back there. In London, Mac, and they told me, you know, he, it doesn't matter. We, the the re-recorded mixer have all the best, coolest rivers ever. So. Don't 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 fight with that. Sometimes I uh, answering your question. Sometimes I, I work with the with the with two mics. Sometimes with one mic. Uh, during in in this very moment, I'm doing a, a Disney series for it for Brazil. You know, yeah. and uh, it's like a, a a TV one. So I'm I'm trying to uh, a TV series means that it, it, it you don't have to start to TV series need microphone techniques and 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 things like that. Before that, a few months ago, I, I worked in this in a project called La Land and Shade. I don't know La Tierra y la Sombra in Spanish. Who was a film, a Colombian film, who won in the Cannes, uh, Cannes, you know, the Cannes Festival. Ah, uh, yeah, Cannes. Cannes Festival, Cannes Festival. They they won that with that film. That, and that was a fully, you know, uh, 
uh, art, a more artistic one. We we had to work with space. We have to work with the. Uh, I really recommend it because it was a really a good work we did. We we did there, and we worked with a French mixer who 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 did Foley and the, and really Zhang Yi his his name, and uh, he he helped us to you know to to what do the 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 Foley sound had to be. So in this in, in in this business you have you even that uh, as I said it before when we, we we were were talking before the to make make this thing alive. Uh, okay, I've been working many films like many films. I, I really I, I'm proud of that. But you have you 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 have to learn for the different project. Mm. Every project is different. So so. I'm, I'm telling you my technique now because I'm doing a folly uh, a, a for, for, for TV. But in the next project or the project that I did a few a few months ago, I, I had to deal with this microphone thing. So it depends for answering your question. It depends on the project. And then you have to be really like be open mind because, okay, I'm, I'm doing, I did many projects, but this next project will be your 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 next challenge so every yeah. every every different project is a new a brand new challenge that you have to face and you have to face with 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 like it it it, it is the the first one you have some tennis you're 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 a little bit faster than you you did before but but uh, when you have the 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 those the, those things called passion we said in the in the beginning uh, you have to be focused and it will be a brand new challenge so how do i will work on that it will depend that how the, the, do the, the film need need and that, that's when you say okay for this particular film i will work doing the two mic or three mic technique or maybe not it depends on the film yeah nice there's so many different variations of course but it's it's great to just hear hear a selection of them for people out there. Um, it's and as well, just commenting on um, kind of the the breadth of different projects you've done. Uh, just talk us through how you got involved with uh, Fresh Meat, and how you've been collaborating kind of internationally as well. Yeah, okay. It, 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 we were talking about this. But this business is kind of crazy that, that the things get worldwide. Even that, I, I I would love to answer you. How do you? Uh, uh, meet me how do you, you realize i was there with this guy from chile we're a small country and uh I, because of this internet internet movie database thing uh, your work is, is is getting known for people you 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 never and uh, because there are, there, are the, there are people who who stay in the theater to watch all the credits and to have all <laughs> you know but they're really a, a two or three persons and um and because this wild world worldwide thing, uh, I worked doing the. Uh, uh, I went to the the Cuban cinema school, which is a really good cool place. You know, doing like a like a, doing some uh, workshops for them, and uh, uh, because of this thing, I I had uh, uh, this linked linked LinkedIn yeah uh, in the. Uh, a, a guys from Spain, which they were the, 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 the when they make the sound re, uh, mixing, and they said, "Okay, this I I worked a film, which I don't know, I don't remember the name, and the guys watched my audition, wanted, wanted to work with us. Okay, of course, it, we, and and I said, of course, even that I didn't know what what what's the project was out, and the, after that they say, okay, this is the, the, this uh, uh, Britain series called Fresh Meat, and uh, I would love to, we would love to, to you working with 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 us, and well, okay, let, let's say it right, okay, for, they they were searching for an for an easy and a not that that expensive budget, so and uh, and uh, have a good CV and and not not. To be not that expensive as the folly by in, in in Europe, it helped that that, that I was involved. Oh, I think you've 
so, so all through this wild worldwide thing that you or you're just sending you're sending uh, through we transfer FTP you're just sending the information and maybe they, they, they send back some pickups or some corrections about what do, what do they need and this is a really fast thing so it's like office so so uh, I think it's a, this this kind of worldwide business it really helped you to 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 perform and to do films that maybe you, with people that you will never meet yeah uh, uh, it's, it's it's crazy but it's it's cool because uh, people are people that not doesn't know you it's um it's uh, watching your work so that's one of the coolest things that 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 for me as a foley artist uh, have received because because as a, as a, as a tell, told you no one no one stays in the theater to watch the credits so <laughs> no i i always do just out of <laughs> just one day hoping that i'll be up there as well but i i suppose working with um international crews as well gives you a very different perspective like you like you mentioned about the two schools of thought on um uh, recording footsteps i suppose there's uh different ways of how they want things delivered um and i heard i heard sometimes excuse me i heard sometimes that there was a french foley artist who lived in a in a truck in a in a, in a moving truck and right. uh and this i don't know it is like a myth or it's true but i heard <laughs> it, i don't know the, the, the name someone told me the name of that particular foley artist that lived in a truck if and if you hire, hire him this guy goes with the truck, you know, and yeah. parks outside the, the re-recording studio, work with the foley inside the truck. We had the, he had the, 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 the floors and all the things he, he need. Send you the gives you the, the foley in a pen drive or a hard disk, hard disk, and then he goes. And then <laughs> maybe, maybe if someone is who <laughs> It, it does sound very French, I have to say. Uh, the the internet isn't treating us very well at the moment. But I'm listening to you very good. Oh, you, you can hear me clearly. Yeah, oh dear. Yeah. Maybe it's from my end. I don't know. But um, I think uh, that sound does sound like a very French thing to do. It's very hard to decide if that's a myth or not. <laughs> Yeah, maybe this guy doesn't exist, or maybe it's the reincarnation <laughs> of Jack Foley. Exactly, himself. there you go, the ghost. Uh, so, um, I guess I should ask what your favorite Foley sound to record is. Do you like kind of gore, or do you like footsteps a lot, or is there like <laughs> one one particular area where you're like, yes, I can't wait to get to, can't wait to get to this. This thing to be in this uh, business that you're you're uh, having fun all the time. You're not you're not uh, this. You're working with sounds. You're working with films. For me, it's the coolest job that exists. And uh, every particularly uh, movie has a different challenge. If you're working in a in an action movie, you will have to make all the move the, the, the sounds. But in an action movie, it will be music involved. It will be many sound effects. It will be you know another perspective of of more of folly. If you work, I I I do I did like a four or five uh, projects in the martial art one. Uh, one cool thing is that we 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 I my goal it was to create all this the, the different sounds in an artificial March movie, so you can figure out that it could be like uh, two hundred punches, <laughs> one hundred kicks, or, or maybe more, and 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 I try to 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 develop uh, that every punch and every kick sounds different than the other one. One with more, like a one with with more nose break, 
or with less more nose break, what more, more like punch, like a chest sound and things like that. So that's one particular project. And uh, okay, a cool, a good example is that we I was I was doing this this particular films, and uh, and then I met a, a Chinese man. I remember the name. His name is Andy Cheng, and he was doing all the the sequence of the twilight you know he was oh yeah doing yeah. like this very famous guy you know in in the the like uh, in action movies and then uh, he he told me a technique you know because you're all with all the time you're learning this business is that i was doing all the clothes the clothes sounds you know and when you when a punch okay in slow motion when a punch starts like in slow motion like Okay. Yeah. And like as a foley, you have to work with the closed movement and the punch in itself. And when I was doing the the, the movements, I record this sound, you know, in slow motion, the sound of the clothes, like. Yeah. But the, this guy particularly told me, hey, okay, Mauricio, you're doing really good sounds about punches and kicks, and the the close is good, but to make it a faster technique. You have to record all the up beats of the clothes. So you're doing like, but you also have to record it when the, the, ah, the when they pull back. Like, yeah, the, the, the back, you know, the, so I, I have to, okay, stop that, that, that process and record all the up beats <laughs> of the, of the, of the movements. And when we check that, after record this and we check it and we mix it and it was a completely different sound it was a, it helped you with the techniques so it was like a, okay hey, that particular advice another tip another tips like uh, when you're to make it <clears throat> a faster technique to when the punch is here the the particular frame you know when you're like uh, like a yeah when you're gonna hit yeah Okay, if you put it like one frame or two frames before, it will sound. It it'll sound what? Sorry, the the internet's still going a bit weird. Let's see if I can get you back. You to work. Sorry, the te uh, the technique will sound faster. You know? Ah, sound faster. Ah, okay. okay. And when you're watching the the, the, the movie, it will it was that that particular sound. It will it, when you're watching the, the the fight scene, it will sound you know little so those kind of films, you know, action ones. Okay. Me, the, the, and, the, and because the, it's the, so the, fast, the, you don't notice it. The, those are are another challenge because okay you have to help to enhance that particular feel or the particular action and the and it's crazy when people watch the the the, the, the movie and and they say oh this scene sounds too hot and when the in the truth is that it's me doing kisses to my hand so <laughs> it's like and the and, and the and the kiss had to sound good had to sound like you know like like uh, doing some cheer you know to 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 that so it, it, it that's not that easy so so if you ask me wh which is the i think every different movie has a different challenge it depends on on what side you you're watching for me uh, i think that uh, intimate scenes are like more more like uh, uh, difficult and uh, i really like have if you're you're if you it's hard to say that but if you if, if when some outsider watch the scene and you show it in the foley track only the foley track if this the, the the person said okay it sounds warm it sounds hot uh okay you're doing a good job 
Is, did you get that? Or, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And so I think every 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 different has a different uh, a different challenge. There's a particular movie that I was rem remembering that there was a called the Milk Milk of Sorrow. Milk of Sorrow. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw that it's on a, your IMDb. Yeah. It's a, it's a Peruvian Spanish movie. I really recommend it. It's in YouTube, I think. And um, th this particular movie is it sounds it, 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 it's located in the, the poorest sites of Lima, Peru. And uh, in the particular first scene, they are doing like a mummifying uh, the grandmother of the character. And then we have to w work with some with some different clothes, different and it sounds really like like a smooth sounds and to create the atmosphere that this 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 this, this women was you know getting inside of the that the clothes so it so was a, that 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 particular movie he, he did really good he he fought this movie fought for the foreign foreign uh, oscar you know ah nice yeah yeah and uh and uh it fought it was on the nominee so so it was a really good food uh, uh, a good film for me because it, it had all the components that the, the intimacy uh, need as i was i was telling you so the, uh, yeah fantastic well i'm uh because we've been going for over an hour now i think it's uh we'll kind of start wrapping it up and i'll uh i'll definitely arrange a, another chat with you hopefully yeah, even yeah. more even more kind of detailed stuff but i i guess just having a a final word a, again kind of aimed just towards people that are um i don't know i'm i'm trying to think of some like uh top tips or some things that that people uh, don't usually think about but need to kind of avoid uh so that they can have a uh, kind of better foley i don't know if any kind of then, uh, like to make to make follow there's no a, a school you know the, yeah. the, the folly it, 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 for me my experience i'm as i, I would i would say it again i'm still learning uh but there's it all comes about passion and how do you passionate are in your in your in your things it's the same as music for me for me is when i hear a, a drum solo or when you're here, I don't know, like a, the bass drum of John Bonham, or say an example, like code that bass drum sound like boom, ka, boom, boom, ka. For me, it's like passion and a way to live, and it's, and it's the same as folly. So, so in this particular job, job you don't need to to be in a university. You just have to watch your project and say, okay, I will, my, I will try to help help this with with this particular sound and you will said after that i will help this project with these particular steps i will help this project with this particular specific sound so it's more that what you you what if you really feel that you you're going to do a good folly you will do it you know that's my 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 advice it's all about passion and uh, the in in this worldwide world you know the techniques you don't need this the super microphone you need just a, a regular microphone condenser one uh, who's really flat and the rest is in pro tools everyone has pro tools now and the rest of the re all the rest is you your technique that's why uh, to 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 work with the with 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 foley is like uh, I don't. I, I expect that it never ends. So it's it's like a, to to you do, doing your handcraft. You know, there's no for these courses. It's a fan, fantastic way to end. Oh, are you getting some words of a uh, more wisdom to say? Sorry. <laughs> are you getting more words of wisdom to <laughs> to pass on? No, we were we were the need to charge the computer. Aha, very good. Well, I shall uh, I shall kind of uh, wrap this up and just say uh, thanks to everyone that's been watching and kind of commenting and hope you got a, a lot out of it. 
And you thank can you very much to you, Mauricio, as well. You can give my email, and uh, I would love to answer questions and talk about Foley because I can. The uh, I can be. It's my. It's my. It's the for me. It's the coolest job in the world. I will. I will try to do it. Always, I will die do it for if, if uh, anyone has to need wants to talk about music and uh, and falling, I can be all day talking. So fantastic. They, 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 well, they, well, they, well, when this when this becomes a, a video, you'll be able to uh, click below and uh, be able to uh, still ask questions and comments, and I'll I'll put your email up as well, so people can uh, get involved, and we'll we'll definitely do something together as well in terms of just trying to. Uh, teaching people some basic techniques and stuff. So all sorts of exciting stuff coming. But uh, thank you very much again. And I'll kind of uh, leave you with the, I guess, the final words to everyone, to everyone watching. And then we'll uh, we'll go offline and we'll chat a bit more and say goodbye there. So over to you for any final goodbyes. Yeah. Okay. To, to all the okay to to, to all the, the guys that. Uh, First of all, come to South America, come to Chile. They are all invited to have a word about the movie industry. And uh, because, ah, okay, this is a cool thing. When you work in, in, in this sound uh, and post production as a sound maker, uh, it's crazy because you everywhere you go, you know, to every studio I've been, all the people, okay, there's people who work in image and people who work in sound. And all the people who works in sound has, even that they never had met before, they don't have the same, the same they have the same jokes. And you have <laughs> the same, the particular, it, that's, it's crazy, you know? Because you have the same language, you have the same jokes, and the, and the, you're really into the, in, into, you love the same thing, and you're like, you, 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 you were met before, it's crazy, you know? So, to all those guys back there to who's watching this and they want to have a, a folly word or whatever do they want to talk, come to Chile or through internet and let's talk. Fantastic. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. so goodbye for now, everyone. <laughs>